Morning, morning. This is Sean Hackland here. Just uh, thought I might do a little review of my braking system that we installed about three years ago um, onto our Tomcat 19 foot ski boat, which we do fishing charters and also fish a lot as a family. And uh, we just found that the overrun braking system was not sufficient to uh, for us to feel safe on the road. So about three years ago, uh, we ordered one of these Hydro Pro, uh, as you can see the actuators here, the Hydro Pro electric over hydraulic 1600 PSI um, unit and installed the unit onto <clears throat> the existing trailer. Um, the trailer is equipped with um, disc brakes and um, yeah, the, uh, basically the unit pumps brake fluid uh, through to the disc brakes uh, when required, but I'll explain that in a little bit more detail. Um, shortly. Alright, so the next question would be, we've now seen the unit which uh, um, is sitting on the trailer, we call that the actuator, and the question would be, so Sean, how does, how does the system work? Um, basically, <clears throat> electric over hydraulic means that uh, the actuator in the um, on the actual trailer itself is uh, comprises of a 12 volt um, hydraulic pump which can pump up to 1600 psi on this particular hydro pro unit that we had a look at earlier and it is controlled from the um, towing vehicle in my instance um, by a controller and uh, <coughs> excuse me the controller is uh, hardwired in to the vehicle and basically communicates with the uh, actuator on the trailer um, as, as one is driving along. So um, the controllers that we've been exposed to and had experience with, are, are there's two, two types. There's basically the, the one which is time-based and when I say time based, as you put your foot on the brake pedal, so it starts to brake on the trailer and it, it brakes harder and harder on the trailer until you get to maximum pressure. Um, that, is, that is not the one that we decided to go with. Um, we decided to go with one that was um, uh, not time based and uh, it is um, proportional. So <clears throat> basically, um, inside the uh, controller, um, I'll show you the, the controllers that I've got here with me now. Inside the controller, there is a, an accelerometer, decelerometer, uh, a se sensing device, which um, picks up how hard uh, one is applying the brakes in, in the towing vehicle and then proportionally applies the brake um, on the trailer uh, bringing you to uh, basically braking at the same rate that you're braking in your in, in your tow vehicle um, which is quite nice so you, you don't end up locking up um, the brakes on your trailer and you um, yeah it's all quite smooth um, you have you have uh, the two that I'm going to show you now. The one is the um, Genesis Hayes Genesis controller. Um, this is the one that I have in my my pickup at the moment, um, and um, uh, I can move it from from the pickup to our, our other vehicle um, because we we put a plug on the back of it and we're able to move it from one vehicle to the other. Um, quite easily actually, but uh, we have found a new controller um, which I'll also show you. Uh, it is 
the Heyman Reese Compact IQ. Um, it's just a little more uh, vehicle friendly. Um, it, it looks nicer. Um, you'll find if you Google Heyman Reese Compact IQ um, on YouTube, you will find quite a few videos of the uh, of that particular controller. I'll show them to you quickly now. Here is the Genesis unit. Um, this is the box of the uh, Genesis unit and um, which you will also be able to find many reviews on YouTube. Um, this is the unit itself. Um, you see the unit is quite um, straightforward. Uh, you've got two controlling buttons where you can set your minimum and maximum braking pressure. Um, for the trailer and you also have a little slide indicator over here where um, if your trailer is starting to sway um, uh, on the road you can uh, without touching your brake pedal you can just push the slide over and apply the brake independently on your trailer which basically pulls your trailer back into line um, which is quite handy if you're if you're your trailer starts to sway or you if anybody's been in that situation you you know how uncomfortable that can be all right the going back to the um Heyman reese compact iq that unit this is the unit here um raymond uh, my partner he has this unit currently installed in his land cruiser prado and uh it all that comes through the uh, uh, dash, there's the little button and the uh, controlling dial behind it. So you also get to uh, set up the minimum and maximum braking pressures on your uh, on your trailer brakes. Um, depending on how loaded the trailer is, you can set your minimum braking pressure from um, five percent right through to twenty five percent of your maximum braking pressure. All right. There is also a uh, wired in <clears throat> installation, and because of all the electronics uh, that are involved in these new vehicles that we drive around these days, uh, we suggest that when installing these controllers, uh, we run, we get the guys to run a um, two core cable all the way to where your uh, seven pin pluggers that your trailer lights plug into and your controller has four wires um, the blue wire uh, over here and the red wire are your um, two two wires that would run through to the um, seven pin plug um, at the back of your trailer um, on the back of your tow vehicle sorry and the blue wire basically the red wire picks up your tail light, so when you apply the brake in your tow vehicle and you send a brake signal to your trailer, the red wire would pick up a brake signal um, to the controller telling it that you're braking. Mm -hmm. And the blue wire, um, it sends voltage right through to the actuator on the, on the trailer, um, telling it how hard to apply the brake depending on the decelerometer on, uh, in the unit. So, yeah, depending on how hard you're braking, you get um, quite uh, efficient braking from your trailer. Um, your, your black and your white wire uh, that come out of the controller itself are actually your positive and your negative um, <coughs> power cables. And that would get fused and run to your battery. So, it's not very complicated. The only thing is finding somewhere for this unit to fit uh, where you're not going to have to drill any holes in your dashboard or um, your one million rand vehicle or whatever you happen to be using to tow your trailers around with um, that was a bit of a uh, a bit of an issue for us uh, and i'm sure anybody who spends a lot of money on a vehicle does not really want to drill too many holes um, this one also needs to be uh, fitted uh, uh, pointing uh, forwards uh, at no more than I think 30 degrees could be wrong um, but yeah uh, 
whereas the uh, Heyman Reese um, controller, the other one, this this one here, um, the actual unit uh, is mounted behind the dashboard, and all that comes through the dash is the little button with the uh, light above it, telling you that when you are connected um, and when you apply the brake, it the little light goes red. And uh, if you need to brake independently, uh, like you slide the slide on the Genesis, you can apply the uh, the button on on the um, on this little controller here. Anyway, um, yeah, why uh, why did I go to why did we go in, in go to all the trouble to uh, put a, um, a braking system on the trailer? Um, as I said earlier, I said, you know, obviously we, we're a family of three and uh, we, we travel around a little bit and um, some of the drivers here in South Africa are, are not of the greatest um, quality and do some silly things like swerving in front of you. Um, and we've had a few hair-raising situations where we haven't known if we are going to be able to stop and I found my wife holding on to the passenger seat um, on a few occasions. And, and honestly, uh, I, I don't tow my uh, boat fast, um, probably 100 kilometers an hour or 110 kilometers an hour. I, I just find that a nice safe speed to um, to tow along at. Um, but having, having said that, this unit, uh, having the unit on the trailer, and, uh, and applying the brake and knowing that you can stop the whole rig um, and my, uh, that trailer is heavy it um, has a GVM of, of 2.5 tons 2,500 kilos um, and uh, as it stands there now the um, the boat stands there partially loaded sitting at just over 2.4 tons so it, it is heavy and you one wants to be able to stop um, anyway i hope this has been uh, interesting and i hope you've enjoyed this little um, video we've done as i said i've had the unit for three years um, now and uh, thoroughly enjoyed um, thoroughly enjoyed having it thoroughly enjoyed towing with it um, i don't think I would be prepared to tow anything with a heavier uh, GVM than the tear weight of my tow vehicle without um, a service brake or, or something similar <coughs> to the unit we have now. Um, the only issue we have had uh, with this unit, this particular one, it had a little leak um, on the, uh, it had a little leak of brake fluid from the reservoir bottle which is on the on the unit itself which was was quickly sorted out and other than that it has been an absolute pleasure to to have so um, if anybody uh, if anybody wants to phone and get in touch with me um, on this unit or, or come and have a look at it themselves um, it's very difficult to explain on a video how, how these things feel, you, you pretty much need to drive it. Um, we are situated up here in, uh, I'm situated here in Amklali near Belito in KZN, um, probably about 30 or 40 kilometers north of Durban. And uh, we run a little um, charter fishing operation called Foul Play Fishing Charters. So yeah, um, anybody who wants to come and have a look at it, you're very welcome. And if I can be of assistance, um, please uh, give me a call um, we do have a website um, it is uh, www.hydropro.co.za and uh, yeah please uh, give us a call at any time have a lovely day thank you